you're welcome to another tutorial today we'll be learning how to make a gong sleeve yes um it's a structured sleeve these tools these are the materials i will be using to work now this is the main this is the fabric for the sleeve yeah i'm cutting two sleeves like for both hand then this one is the lining that i'll be using for this sleeve then this one this is um the color gum is a soft is a soft color gum they have two different texture in the uh, market the hard one and the soft one so this is a soft one i got one yard it's 700 naira per yard that i got it now i would also use this hemi gum in case when i'm trying to gum it on the fabric it's not gumming very well then with scissors and with chalk then with my tape roll so let's get started with the sleeve now the first thing is let's draft it on the fabric first now this fabric is folded into two like this after folding it into two what i have here is um 13 inches yes the wideness the width here that is when you open it up that will be 26 inches so when you close it like this is 13 inches now the the length i want to use for this sleeve length i want to use a sleeve length of of 12 inches so i'm going to fold it like this into two so that i can cut two sleeves at once now let's draft our sleeve it's going to be a normal basic sleeve but because we are adding extra you know wideness to it the upper part here i'm going to indicate half inch here then from that half inch I'm going to mark 12 inch plus half inch sewing allowance. Let me rule the our starting line and let me rule the length of the sleeve. Yes, yeah, so I'll be cutting off this part. Now, for your cap height, I'll be using five inches for this sleeve. Normally, if I'm sewing, if I'm cutting a sleeve, I use four inches. So let's say I'm using five inches for the cap height. The main sleeve is 12 then plus one inch sewing allowance so guys you're just going to start blending from here like this you take it all the way down it's just simple just connect it this way so you just mark like this now we're going to cut so i'll be adding this half inch here for sewing for sewing allowance to join it on the fabric So let's cut. Let's say here we use 13 inches. Here I use 12 inches. So it's just one inch difference. But remember we have our one inch sewing allowance. Okay. Now guys, we're done drafting this sleeve. Then take the base, the upper part here and notch it. So we have our two sleeves ready. So you're going to cut this same thing on the on the lining. Okay, so this is it. We also have the lining. I'm also still going to notch this part. We'll be cutting it now on this. I will minus half inch from this upper part here because you know it's a color gum is thick i don't want it to to be too thick when i'm sewing it to to the fabric so i will also minus half inch from the down parts here then on this side the sewing allowance of one inch i'm going to minus it So this is it now when i open the fabric to gum it it's going to be like this so can you see it's going to be like so we have space here and we have space here so i'm going to gum it on both on both fabric so mates this is it after gumming it you can see now i don't really need the i don't need the emigum anymore because 
it's actually gum. Sometimes when you gum these things, the gum on the color gum is not always enough. It will be pulling out. But this one is okay. Now this is it. So I would let's drop one and work with one. Now you're going to turn it to this side, to the other side. So you take one of the lining. Now I did not gum the lining. It's only this I gum because it's thick enough. So you take the lining. And you place it like this so you'll be sewing it with that half inch remember the half inch we did not gum here so you sew it with half inch then you can sew here also with 0 0.25 this side just sew it small so that you can turn it then i'll do the same thing for the second one also after sewing the half inch look at how it's look at the way it's looking like so you're going to top stitch you're going to take the lining parts will be up will be up here then you place it like this then you do you do it like this then you now sew you run a stitch very close to the middle one that's called top stitching then after doing that that is when you will now sew this side then before we turn now we'll be turning it so let's turn So let me press it this is how it's looking like now you're just going to take it to your sewing machine and use your machine to just hold it down so let me do that for the two i have run a stitch on it now we will now sew the side remember the one inch allowance we we added and we are, i already sew here with 0 0.25 when i wanted to turn so what i have left is 0 0.75 but for you to really know what you have left you just feel you can just feel your uh, you will see the white uh, color gum inside so just indicate the place that you don't that, that doesn't have the color gum so you sew on this do the same thing for the second one because i am actually seeing the color gum inside so just mark on where it stops yes so I'm going to be sewing here after sewing it then you open and you iron so guys this is it then you turn it look at this I've had to do one so you guys will see now let's do the second one together can you see how it is let's work with the second one so I run a loose stitch from one end here from this side then I run it to the other to the other side yes so you're just going to start gathering you, you have to start pushing it to make sure you get to the middle so guys when you gather from here to here to your desired length then run a tight stitch just sew on it to secure the gathers just the way just the way i did for for the first one so let me do that can you see it can you see that it's very fine so here have to be your client's armhole here have to be their armhole i have this sleeve already that i've actually sew because i'm fixing it on this uh, gong sleeve before attaching it to the dress so this is the client um this is her sleeve you know how to cut this so you make sure you do this one so i'll take one of this and this is how i want to do mine before fixing it on the on the main uh, dress you make sure you put it inside this way push it inside this way then decide the side seam let it match with each other So you pin then you start fixing it then your middle notch here i already you already have the middle notch for the net for the design net so you try and locate the the middle of the sleeve just pin it round this way from one end to the other end then you do the same thing for the second one the same way I did that one. You did it for the second one. After fixing the two, 
can you see that it's very it's very beautiful and neat so at this junction guys if this tutorial has been helpful to you kindly give me a like like this video share this video and um turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video yes so then i'm going to be fixing it on the armhole here so let me do that <laughs>